Buzz Gold Pony here today in the new 2019 Chevy Camaro SS, courtesy of Criswell Chevrolet in Thurmont, Maryland. And I figured since having recently purchased a 2019 Mustang GT, I had to get back into my second favorite pick. So today we are in this one. And as always, let's start with pricing. And so to start, there will be a couple different trim levels available for this one. The 1SS is going to start at $37,995, 2SS $42,995. And if you wanted to go with the convertible option, simply add $6,000 to either of those prices. And so then powering the 2019 Camaro SS is going to be that 6.2 liter LT1 V8 engine, putting out 455 horsepower at 6,000 RPM and 455 pound-feet of torque available at 4,400 RPM. Power is of course going to be sent to the rear wheels through either a Tremec six-speed manual, which comes standard with rev matching, by the way. So if you're still learning how to heel toe that is going to be there to help you out in the meantime and then the optional transmission is the 10 speed automatic with paddle shifters which is the new setup for 2019 previously it was an 8 speed automatic this year it is the 10 speed automatic also found in my 2019 Ford Mustang but that transmission is going to add an additional $1,595 and that setup is going to also give you line lock and launch control so line lock feature meaning if you're going to the drag strip that's going to lock the front brakes and allow the back ends complete freedom for the best burnout to warm up the tires before you actually get started. So that's pretty cool. But red line on this one is going to come in at 6,500 RPM, 0 to 60, approximately 4.1 seconds, with MPG numbers coming in at 16 in the city, 25 on the highway. And now, before I do this acceleration, I did want to mention there are a few different drive modes available, including snow, ice, tour, sport, and track. And so what I am going to do, since we are on regular city streets, I'm going to put it in the sport mode here. But what these drive Driving modes are actually going to do for you is this going to adjust throttle response shift points the sound actually believe it or not there is a much more pronounced exhaust sound I can attest to in that sport driving mode all kinds of crackles when you downshift and let off the gas so it is pretty darn sweet there but it's also actually going to adjust the interior lighting and the handling characteristics via the magnetic ride control system so but I'll touch a little more on that in a second but so since we have not done it yet Let's do a quick little acceleration here. We'll see how quickly we can get this one, kind of, up to speed. <laughs> It's fun, you guys. I can definitely... Oh, and the, that exhaust crackle at the end there, that was definitely... It's, it keeps going. <laughs> so then in addition to that acceleration and all the crackles, I also did want to touch on the six-speed manual here. Clutch feel is actually very nice. Definitely had no issues finding the grab points or anything like that. Also, I wanted to mention this six-speed, again, is a Tremec six-speed manual, which is also used in the Shelby GT350, but not the Mustang GT, which I wish it was because... The Tremec really is an amazing six-speed manual transmission. But now let's touch on the braking a little bit here. Up front, standard setup will be 13.6 inch front disc with four piston front calipers. In the back, again, four piston rear calipers. And I did want to also mention, if you went with the 1LE track package that we have today, that is going to give you Brembo six piston front calipers. So that is actually what you were looking at right now. And during my short little driving stint, I had no issues with the braking feel. It actually felt quite nice, immediately brought me to a stop there. Touching on a handling suspension a little bit. Once again, I have to mention that 1LE track package. By the way, that adds an additional $7,000, but I do have it today, so I'm gonna keep mentioning it. But that is gonna give you a performance tuned suspension with unique springs and a stabilizer bar. And again, that magnetic ride control, which is actually gonna give you the best of both worlds. Not only tightening up the suspension around heavy cornering, but adjusting to the road's imperfections, giving you a smoother ride as well. So definitely one I would recommend. And with that 1LE package, you also get an electronic limited slip differential as well. And I did want to also mention that 1LE package is going to give you Goodyear Eagle F1 Supercar 3 tires. So definitely a little extra grip with those as well. And when it comes to visibility, let me touch on forward visibility first. You will get a head up display if you go with the 2SS trim level. Rear visibility is still questionable. It is a Camaro, but I would imagine if you were to own a Camaro day in and day out, you would certainly get used to it. I would assume at least. But anyways, enough of the driving dynamics. Let's 
let's check out the exterior on this new 2019 Chevy Camaro SS 1LE. And so let me first start by the most obvious. New for 2019, the Camaro did get a facelift this year. So you will find a new front fascia up there along with a new front grille with the SS badging still up front. To the sides, you will get redesigned LED dual element headlights up there. And there are a few new colors for the 2019 model year as well, including satin steel gray metallic, which is the one you are looking at right now. Also a shadow gray metallic and a riverside blue metallic. But then make your way to the sides, there are body color power adjustable side mirrors and they will come heated and auto dimming as well if you go with the 2SS trim level. Zooming out, taking a look at the wheel setup there, they will come sized up at 20 inches standard. That's definitely pretty nice. And there are actually several different wheel designs available for the 2019 SS as well. And then make your way to the back rear spoiler will come standard and just below that there are revised led tail lights for the 2019 model year definitely look good back there actually in my opinion and if you were curious about the smoked housings because not every vehicle has them they're actually going to come standard for both the 1ss and the 2ss trim levels I absolutely love this, just like the Corvette Z06. Definitely wish the Mustang had this option, but you will also get black bow tie badging back there as well. And the 1LE is going to add a black rear spoiler and just below it all, dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips. And by the way, if you went with the 1LE, you will get quad tips back there, so even better. But you guys know what I have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip. <laughs> now since we are around back to open that rear trunk there actually is a button on the key fob for that so that is one option there's also a button on the door here to unlock it if you like but either way once opened up cargo capacity is going to come in at 9.1 cubic feet for the coupe 7.3 cubic feet for the convertible and if that was not quite enough space for you those rear seats do fold down for a good bit of extra space if you needed it there and then make your way up to the rear legroom that is going to come in at 29.9 cubic feet for reference i'll give this a shot i am even six feet tall this is how much space i have back there then make your way to the front seats they will come power adjustable and if you go with the 2ss trim level it will also come heated and ventilated with memory settings as well it's definitely nice and again the 1le package that we have today is going to give you the caro bucket seats with the suede leather combination to them and that suede is going to better help hold you in place around the bend so that's definitely nice and by the way that sway does continue to the shift knob the shift boot and the steering wheel as well so definitely a huge fan of that then looking forward there is a tilt and telescoping steering wheel that will come standard on every single trim level standard setup again is going to be leather wrapped and it will come heated with the 2ss and again if you go with the 1le it's going to come with the suede finish when it comes to the startup let me first start by showing you guys the key here you do have your chevy logo on the one side and when you flip it over lock unlock and that button to pop the rear hatch on the back there but i should also mention if you went with that 10 speed automatic transmission you will actually get a remote start with that one as well but since i do not have that one today all i'm going to do is simply put my foot on the braking clutch and press that engine start button which is located just by the driver's right knee and so that once started up those gauges will do a full sweep tachometer is going to be on your left speedometer is on your right there is a large digital display front and center giving you a ton of different things you could scroll through and by the way to adjust what's on that digital display use the steering wheel mounted controls on the right side there but that's going to give you things like a digital speedometer your average fuel economy of course how many miles you have left until you hit empty your oil life meter tire pressure and you can also set up your audio settings up there bluetooth information navigation if you wanted to there's a couple other things as well but making your way to overall interior quality let me start by just doing the 2ss here because the 2ss trim level is actually going to add a ton over the 1ss including ambient lighting dual zone climate control illuminated sill plates and auto dimming rear view mirror and again my favorite part about this whole thing the 1LE giving you the suede accents throughout so definitely nice there but now let's take a look up front here because up front you will find an 8 inch color touchscreen display that will come standard on every single trim level of the Camaro SS by the way giving you Bluetooth and audio streaming Android Auto and Apple
Apple CarPlay. Also, you could check out weather updates. You adjust your climate control information up there. If you wanted a factory navigation system, that is going to simply add $495. But to be honest, you may not need it because again, with the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, that's going to give you a free navigation system if you have a smartphone. You can also, of course, check out your radio settings up there. And by the way, the standard setup is going to be a six speaker sound system. And that is the one we have today. So let's turn on the radio and see what we got playing this morning. And let's test out the clarity of this one. All right, so not the most bass in the world. And of course, there's ways to adjust this. You can always add a sub or an amp or whatever you want to do. But for the one LE, honestly, I wouldn't. I would leave it as it is. Sound system is fine, just not the most bass I've ever heard in the world. And so then last thing I wanted to mention on the tech display is when you do put the Camaro SS in reverse. And by the way, to put this one in reverse, what you're going to want to do is slide the shifter into the upper right hand corner there. But when you do that, that is going to give you a reverse camera, letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead me into safety. And so to start there are front side and side curtain airbags, also driver and passenger knee airbags up front as well. In the back, latch, aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats. You will also find an electronic parking brake just behind the shifter there, as well as stability track stability control with traction control. There is also a teen driver mode, which prevents your teen driver from turning off the safety features. If they were to do that, you will actually get a notification letting you know that. So if they were having a little joy ride in your Camaro SS, that is going to let you know, although you probably shouldn't be letting your teen driver be driving this thing. But anyways, 2SS trim level is also going to give you forward collision alert, lane change alert with side blind zone alert, rear cross traffic alert, and rear park assist. And so, but anyways, that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like the video and subscribe. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there, and I will see you guys in the next video. Stay gold.